All right. This is a review of Spruance Leader, and uh, I'm going to be talking about all the um, the parts of it, but I just wanted to uh, give my two cents on my experience so far. I played a couple games, a couple campaigns actually on the base game. I'm ready to to um, start. I think I've got a firm grip on the aircraft carrier, and there are some videos already out on the uh, submarine uh, expansion. And uh, I, so I think I've got a good grasp of, of how this game is, and I just wanted to give my honest review. I'm not uh, an employee or anything like that. Uh, I have bought the game because this looked like a uh, a very different version of Dan Versen. I'm a big fan of Dan Versen games. I like solo games because it's so hard to get together with people, especially as you get on in life. Um, you don't live in a big city or anything like that. You you're just going to have to uh, play games by yourself. And uh, video games on the computer are fun, and uh, they've got their place. But there's something special about just putting a, uh, a board game down and looking at it and thinking and planning and walking around and, and just feeling everything. Is that something nice about it. And so uh, I would go ahead and uh, went and got Spruance Leader on Kickstarter and got it a little while ago, and here are my thoughts. I'm going to start with the cons, uh, things that I struggled with, uh, was the, this real booklet here. It's not made for uh, people to learn on the go. It is made to read through. You read everything, and then hopefully you remember everything. If you have uh, good memory and good um, reading comprehension, you'll do just fine. It's all there. But if you're not in tune with the, uh, the designer and the author, uh, you're going to struggle. Um, I did. And there was a lot of things I got wrong. And I'm, I'm, I've played a lot of leader games, Tiger Leader, Hornet Leader, Corsair Leader, Zero Leader, uh, not to mention you know the Fleet Commander or Army Commander like Rommel, Nimitz, uh, Napoleon. Uh, so I'm, I'm an experienced DVG gamer and uh, I'm in tune with how they, they put together their games. But if it's your first time, if, if Sprint's Leader is your first DVG game, I'm not sure you're going to uh, learn it easily without watching videos. So hopefully more videos, more instructional videos will come out where people can start to understand how to play the game right off the bat. Um, I know there's a guy, Harsh Rules, he does a great job on, on board games. I, I hope he uh, puts together a leader series of, of rules because when you're playing with other people, they're reading the rules too, and they can correct you. They'd be like, oh, no, no, that's that's not the rules. And so you look up the rules, and, and you get it right eventually. Whereas if you're on your own, it's up to you to get the rules right. And if you don't get the rules right, chances are you're not going to enjoy the game as much as... Um, as you should. Uh, for instance, when I first started playing, I thought each encounter was a mission. And so I would discard all my, um, all my ordnance and reload for the next mission, which I thought was kind of strange. And then it made sense, you know, obviously uh, playing through it that uh, you hold on to the ammunition supposed to last through the encounters until you complete your mission and then go back to, to base. And, and so I, I didn't catch on a couple things, and it takes a couple games until you're like, oh, okay, yeah, that's right, that, that'll that work out. Uh, I learned by doing, and so that, that was something that I struggled with. Another con that I had um, was that there doesn't seem to be enough ammunition counters for some things. Uh, um, was it the 109s? There's only four of them that I can see. Maybe I'm missing something. I'll look at the counters again. But uh, it'd be nice to have uh, a couple more of those. And you got so many Tomahawks and not enough 109s. Um, yeah, those, those are really good missiles, and they only give you four of them. But they give you plenty of blank white counters, I guess, to use for whatever you want. Uh, but it would have been nice if the Tomahawks and the 109s are double back so that you can flip them like you can in other leader games. Um, and then, you know, there's errata. There's a lot of errors 
throughout the uh, the rule booklet, the tactics board, you know, the, just a lot of easy things that they should have picked up. And I wouldn't be mad, but there were we went months on Kickstarter saying we're reviewing it, we're proofreading, we're doing all these things, we want to get it right, blah, blah, blah. And then they didn't get it right. It's, it's either you, you put it out quickly and you made mistakes and we understand, or you took your time and you did it right. And these were really big mistakes. Um, it's just embarrassing on, on DVG's part to to not get, uh, if you're going to take the time and make us wait a couple extra months while you proofread everything, then you know make sure you get it right. I mean, I understand there's there's something you know, misspelled over here. But when you're, the board itself, it was, there was, what was it? One of the, the things right here, I think it was on the uh, after, um, where it's, it's an error. It's a simple error that, you know, anybody, everybody picked up right in the beginning. I was looking at it and it, it made no sense. And yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's frustrating to see those kinds of errors. Uh, I feel for Dean Brown. He's putting out the errata as fast as he can and putting out explanations. I mean, the dude is is a horse, and uh, I really appreciate Dean Brown for first making this game and also trying to uh, plug all the holes uh, that were left uh, when they, they produced it. And I don't know where the breakdown was. Maybe they, they did fix it and the printer messed it up. I don't know. But somebody somebody dropped the ball there, and... Uh, so I was I was a little disappointed in that. Now for the pros, I'm gonna say right off the bat, this could be the best leader game that DVG has put out. Uh, I played, you know, my favorite has been Tiger Leader. Um, I have Sherman Leader, Hornet Leader, Corsair Leader. Um, I'm forgetting somebody in there, uh, but I've got quite a few of of the uh, the leader games. And I enjoy them all. And I think Tiger Leader was the best. That was the one that I enjoyed the most. And now that I'm going through it, I'm not even finished with uh, all the rules of, of Spruance Leader. And I got to say, this is the best. And I'm, and I'm going to say that because uh, when you have this tactical area right here, it feels very much like you're in a, a tactical battle, uh, much like uh, Corsair Leader and uh, Zero Leader and Tiger Leader, Sherman Leader, where you're, you're actually playing the tactics. And, you know, Hornet Leader is more of ord ordinance management and the other games also. But uh, this one is not only ordinance management and tactics, but that there's one element that I think is wonderful, and that is the detection. Um, when you're trying to detect ships, you'd use this right here. Um, trying to detect them with your sensors, and then it, it degrades over time. Um, I'm, I'm still getting into the sensor performance cards. Uh, I, I think I got a handle of that also. Uh, also a really cool thing where you can change all these uh, elements that are going on, uh, random subs, just so many good random things going on uh, that I really like that uh, make the game uh, fresh and fun. And um, also the expansions. These are real expansions. I mean, these are, these are not just refreshes or whatever. You got the uh, submarine expansion, which gives you that, that you know, you're, you're one boat instead of an admiral, and you're going up against, um, against the whole fleet or ships that you're trying to pick off. And, and it gives you a really cool sense of, of being the, uh, uh, the captain of a ship and doing the orders and, and um, it just looks really cool. And then the aircraft carrier, of course, the aircraft carrier is uh, um, what really drew me to the game where I wanted to, you know, send off F-14s, you know, the, the whole Hornet leader, Top Gun. I was just, I was just all into it and, and I'm really glad that they put it through. But these are basically different games. Um, the submarine expansions, uh, you know, the aircraft carrier is is an, a true expansion where you're expanding the game to make it more than it originally was. The submarine expansion is a totally different game, so I feel like I'm getting a whole nother game with the uh, the submarine pack, and that is really really cool. One more thing, even though there are a lot of counters, the counter count is actually pretty low. 
Uh, Hornet Leader is the is the best at this. They kept the counters super low, um, and so Spruance Leader stays in that vein. There are a lot of counters, but compared to things like Tiger Leader and Corsair Leader, um, you have you know very few counters to deal with. A lot of it is in the cards. A lot of it is in the boards, and so it's it's very manageable to deal with the counters. And uh, I really appreciate that. You know, the the ordinance, there's really four or five things that you have to uh, make decisions on. It's more of, I'm going to get all of them, just how many of each. And then probably the biggest thing, and I was looking for it. I saw somebody, uh, somebody sent me something from Facebook where um, people are talking about making a Star Wars variant. And I think Star Wars would be perfect for the base game and for the aircraft carrier but Star Trek for the uh, submarine. And so people are coming up with new variants of, of this game that are just going to be amazing. I can't wait to, to see. I hope they, they do get licenses for these other Battlestar Galactica, um, you know, uh, current day war, not just Cold War, but, you know, I wish we could do uh, modern day naval combat. And Dan Verson, Dean Brown, I hope you're listening here. I'm, this is this is you know obviously, I think a lot of people have come up with this idea, but do a Yorktown leader or Enterprise leader or something like that where it's World War II version of Spruance leader. It is just sitting there waiting to be made. Um, you do World War II Pacific War with this model that you're using here. Oh my goodness. What a game that would be. Just take my money, please. I want World War II version of Spruance Leader. So, yeah, the, this, is, this is a game that is not only exciting in what it's giving you right now, but exciting on what this system could provide in the future. It is almost unlimited kudos to dean brown he has struck a gold mine and i don't think he even knows yet i think he just knows about spruance leader but all these other things that that uh that can be done that people are now bringing up because this game is such a good this is what uh dan verson games really should be all about and so i give it a huge thumbs up it's it is now and i'm trying to temper myself that i'm not just excited for the new game uh, the new hotness, but this is this is different than the other games. When you play Corsair Leader, you, you pretty much played Zero Leader or Stuka Leader. If you played Tiger Leader, you pretty much have played uh, Sherman Leader um, or Apache Leader. Uh, you pay, you know the the Leader series are are very similar to each other, and uh, they offer just a little different a perspective of the game. Whereas this can be taken to whole different eras, done a, a number of different ways, and not feel very stale. So I'm excited to see what, what's going to come out of uh, Spruance Leader, and I'm looking forward to playing uh, all my games, check out my other games. I'm still trying to organize and, and put them together, so please um, be patient with me on that. I'm also going to be uploading on Rumble, see if I can get on Odyssey, because, you know, this 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 type of gaming and this game itself needs a lot more publicity so thanks for watching and uh, i hope you uh, get your game soon